Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have x squared minus 4 equals to okay this is 2 minus x okay this looks um difficult but simple see what you will do bring everything to the left okay so we are going to have x squared minus 4 then this becomes plus x then this becomes minus 2 which will be equal to 0 Okay, you can decide to collect like terms, take minus 4 to 2 here, and then um, you have your constant. But there's no need for that. We can simply group this and factorize. This is x squared minus 4 in a group. Then here we have plus x minus 2. Everything equals 0. But then, you cannot equate them to 0 now because we are having addition. It is when you have you know, multiplication that you can equate either of them to zero. Okay, so because of that, we will factor out what we have here. If you look at this, this is the same thing as x squared minus 2 squared, right? In this bracket, then plus x minus 2 equals zero. For this, we can apply difference of two squares. In case you have forgotten, difference of two squares is when you have a squared minus b squared. Okay, you are to take the difference of two terms that are raised to the power of two, just like this. This is the same thing as a plus b into a minus b. So I'm going to apply the same thing in the first bracket so that I will have x minus 2. Okay, let me use positive first, and then I'll have x minus 2. This is for the first bracket, then plus here we have x minus 2, and everything is equal to 0. Now, what do we do? Factor out x minus 2, because it belongs to the two of them. So, x minus 2 will come out as a factor, then here we have x plus 2 and here now we are going to have plus 1 because x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 we will have 1 close this and everything is equal to 0 this means that x minus 2 and x plus 3 is equal to 0 now we are having multiplication between them right so we can now equate either of them to 0 but in this case, we, we couldn't have done that because of this addition, right? Okay, let's continue. This means that x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0. x here will be equal to 2 or x here will be equal to minus 3. Now, let's get the two values of... Um, Let's put these two values into the original equation. And the original equation is x squared minus 4 equal to 2 minus x. If we are working with, my, um, with 2, that means we are having 2 squared, right? Then minus 4. This is for the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we are going to have 2 minus 2 because x is now 2, right? So that here we have 4 minus 4, which will give us 0. On the right, we have 2 minus 2 is 0, and 4 minus 4 on the left-hand side is still 0. So this is the confirmation that the first value of x, which is 2, satisfies the original equation. Now let's go back to the second value of x, which is minus 3. We are going to have... Um, Okay, we're going to have, in place of x squared now, here, I'm going to have minus 3 in bracket. I will square this, then minus 4. On the right-hand side, we have 2 minus minus 3, because x is minus 3, right? Okay, if we continue, here we're going to have minus 3 squared will give plus 9. That is positive 9, and then here we have 4. This will be equal to on... 
On the other side, we are going to have 2 plus 3. Because negative, negative will give positive. Okay, here 9 minus 4 will give 5. And then 2 plus 3 will give 5. Meaning that the two solutions satisfy the equation. Thank you for watching.